closed due to family illness? Welcome to the Magical Menagerie, Harry. I've been expecting you. It'll cost you one galleon for the three wards, but you'll need to find my giant purple toad first. I've just had a delivery, and my giant purple toad has decided to hide under the boxes. Once you've found him, use your knockback jinx to stun him and remove the wart. Be quick, though. Having warts removed annoys him, and he'll disappear to spite you. Your ill-timed jinxes will destroy my shop. Start again and be more careful. your warts. Thanks for your business, Harry. Bye! you have three nut coins. Feel free to collect your peacock feathers. My peacock lives in the yard. My advice is to sneak up on him. The surprise makes him drop his feathers. I must warn you, never use your wand against a peacock. You might hurt yourself. Have a good look around. There are boxes filled with things I've long forgotten. Three of his feathers, eh? I suspected you would do well. Excellent, you have three sickle coins that entitles you to purchase an eagle owl feather. 
My eagle owl is in the owlery, but he's rather highly strung. He must be fed before you can charm a feather from him. His treats are on the table in the owlery. Use the Wingardium Leviosa spell to get the food to the eagle owl. Use the cross button to charm the owl treat, and then guide it to the eagle owl using the directional buttons and the cross button to keep it off the floor. Once he's fed, he'll nap. Then you may use the same charm to lift the feather back. Good. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! You've got your feather, I see. Well done, and thank you very much. Do call again soon, Harry, and give my regards to Hedwig. Cheerio! Well done, Harry. Let's get back to Hogwarts so we can cure poor Norbert. Home again at last. Now we'll give the Dragon Tonic to Norbert. We've done it, Harry. Norbert is well again. Thank goodness I was so worried. I'm glad he's better, but sad in a way. He's old enough to leave the nest and fend for himself now. He'll want to go off on his own now, the wee soul, but I want to keep him here so I can look after him. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. That night, Harry carried Norbert up to the tallest tower. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Once Norbert had been freed, however, Malfoy sprang his trap. Harry was caught by Professor McGonagall. For his detention, Harry was to make his way into the Forbidden Forest and search for a wounded unicorn. Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. The best way to find wounded unicorns is to follow a trail of silver blood. It should show up well in this moonlight. Follow the silver blood to find the unicorn. Be careful. The forest can be a dangerous place. I better go, Harry. That spoilt brat Draco is waiting with Fang. If I'm not back soon, Fang might just have him for his dinner. Incendio! Incendio! Ugh. 
Incendio! That oaf Hagrid sent me to tell you that we haven't found the unicorn yet. I doubt Hagrid could find the boots on his feet without a map. Don't get lost, Potter. Remember, these woods can be very dangerous. Incendio! <laughs> I see you found the unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. There's summit in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me if you find anything. was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. Firenze explained the unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named. 
Lord Voldemort. Oh, that was a close shave, Harry. Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. If it was Lord Voldemort, I mean, he who must not be named, then you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. Oh, you've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. Out like a light. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. I've been doing some reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. He's the creator of the Sorcerer's Stone. Supposedly it can grant eternal life to its user. If it's here, there may be snakes after it. There are even rumours that you know who's involved. We have to find a way to get past Fluffy. That must be where the stone is being kept. Ron and I will meet you on the third floor by the doorway that leads to Fluffy. We have to get the stone first. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. <laughs>